What if I told you that spending thousands of dollars on the latest tech exercise equipment doesn't guarantee a better workout? The reality is that seemingly primitive tools like barbells and kettlebells are not only far less demanding on your wallet, but can actually be better for building your body to not only look good, function well in and out of the gym. Today, you'll learn about the Gida or Mace, an ancient exercise tool with roots dating back thousands of years to ancient India and Persia. Their use not only builds strong shoulders and core, but it can be a crazy good workout as well and leave you gasping for air if done correctly. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Today, I'm going to show you the simple step-by-step -step process to using these tools that subject expert known as the Flowing Dutchman taught me with tips he's learned directly from Indian master instructors. Hey, Aaron. How you doing? It's been, uh... It's been really nice to meet you and yeah. really nice to be here. I'm excited um, for today. I am excited too. The first thing that we have to look at, because maybe uh, most of you guys have never seen this before, it's an unweighted stick, unevenly distributed weight. So the weight is on one side, which is very interesting because that makes this side very heavy and this side very light, right? Because this weight is only 10 pounds. So that's about four and a half kilos, which is just not a lot of weight. Yeah. But for first timers, this is the ideal beginner weight. The further you hold something away from you, the more heavy it's gonna be. Makes sense. So we're continuously using the lever to work in either our advantage, or if you're not doing it properly, you're using it for your disadvantage. Definitely. <laughs> Let's start with the basics, teach you a little bit on how to start the pendulum, how to start the momentum. Okay. So what I want you to do is just aim straight forward. Okay and hold the mace like okay. that. And I want you to hold the mace with your hands fully of your arms, fully supinated. Okay. And from here, you're just gonna lift up the mace. Now this okay. is a bit of an awkward position at first, especially have, if you have limitations. So mm -hmm. a proper warm up is always very key with this. That's yeah. always what I say. You have to have your, your wrists and your forearms open. You have to have your shoulders open yeah. and really prepared. Now the next thing, you're holding something in the front. So mm -hmm. immediately what happens, is your shoulders start to raise. And you yeah. want always your shoulder blades to be active here. Okay. Because you're holding something in front, but you want your whole structure to be there. Yeah. That is gonna happen a lot. <laughs> so here, okay. much better. Feel the connection to the ground. Mm -hmm. Make sure that your feet are a little bit closer together. Okay. That's it. And now what I want you to do is just swing from side to side. This is a relatively small mace. So whenever you okay. buy a mace, it's very important that this movement can, for example, not be done with a mace that's like that. Okay. So it's about 105 centimeters, this one, which is a standard size. Okay. This is a one of the first movements you can do to understand the pendulum. If you do feel limitation here with the ground, mm -hmm. make sure you pull your arms up more instead of lifting your shoulders. Okay. okay. So there rather than this, yes. be down exactly. like this and lift up exactly. here. And then keep the connection here. Gotcha. Now, as you move from side to side, I want your hands to come from hip to hip, yes. Now feel what, what is the maze doing? It wants when I go this way to exactly. pull that way. So you feel a shift on the feet, right? Yes. And once you go to the right, you Do I want to, to allow the shift? Yeah, you have to feel into it because your body is uh, automatically doing that. Okay. And then you can make use of that shift. Okay. And that's where the hip comes into play. Okay. So you push your hip forward, almost like a single uh, glute uh, kettlebell swing. Oh, okay. Not necessarily from side to side, okay. but you push your hip forward. And push in that the hip sense, forward. yes. So now you see that the maze is already coming up higher, right? Yeah. So the next thing that we do as we're feeling this is pulling it back to the belly button. So you come all the way up. Yes, this is basically the center stance where everything starts, all the movements. The pickup is always very important okay. because again, it's a lever tool. Yes. And this one is 12 kilos at the end, so you cannot lift it. Mm -hmm. So we start, even with a lighter mace, to pick it up, mm -hmm. glutes, legs activated, up here, and bring it to the center, slide down. Now your upper hand is about belly button height. Okay. Now what we do from here is that we move Mm -hmm. for now towards the upper hand. You can move towards the lower hand or the upper hand, but the idea now is to start making that front swing happen. Okay. So you lift it to the side, okay. and you basically open up. So supinate, there we okay. go. So you come to that same position where we just were. Open up a little bit more with your arm. Yes. Okay. You let the swing move all the way here. Okay. Exactly, open up here. So you don't want to do the movement from the wrists, right? Okay. 
And from here, you pull back. So what we're doing is supinating, pronating, and extending like that. So it Instead goes. of curling around. Gotcha. So try that. So here. Yeah, there we go. All right. Aim straight to the side. Whenever we're working with momentum, it's really important that we swing exactly in the line with the feet. That starts at the beginning. Aim to give direction. There we go. Now I want your hands to become a little bit more to the side as you throw it out. Okay. See that? So uh -huh. you have room to actually open up without extending necessarily the arms. There we go. So the maze is a very interesting tool because you, you have to learn how to let go. Yeah. Instead of what we usually learn when we're training. Just stay oh, tight all the yes. time. Stay tight all yeah. the time. But you're actually in a, bringing yourself into a disadvantage when you do if that. If you're with too tight. Yes. Yeah. It's so, that controlled relaxation, basically. Yes. Well, you control where it wants to go. Yeah. You make sure that everything is right. Yeah. And then you let the maze do its thing. Exactly. How's that? It's good. How's it feel? Feels like I'm better controlling it. Good. Yeah, it looks much better. Bring it down a little bit, a little bit lower and close to the body. There we go. Now try the other side. So switch your hands okay. for now and go to the left. Ooh, yeah. so <laughs> a bit this way. the beautiful thing about the mace is that we learn how to improve Ooh, left and right. Yeah. So that's what you're seeing right now. You got it on one side yeah. and you do the exact same thing. Uh -huh. you, your, your brain knows what to do and then suddenly you're like, mm. yeah. and this is the same as if we were writing something or we're throwing something or whatever. And we, we actually are able now, even with two hands, yeah. to train the right and the left. Makes sense. Coordinated yeah. in that way. Ooh, make sure to aim to the so. side, exactly to the side. Yes, there we go. So now it moves in a, in a lane. If you feel like the mace is coming too close to the ground, yeah. just pull your arms a little bit more. It's just about getting comfortable in that position here with the supination. Yeah, keeping the lance close, yep. yes. Because the mace wants to pull you, right? Yes. You're now trying to become that eye of the storm. That's it. There's three parts okay. when we think about the backswing. There's the press, there's the pendulum, and then there's the pull. Categorizing it in those three ways is usually very is, is, is necessary because it's a complicated swing. The front swing, you can see it, yeah. right? Your, your arms are making a movement like that mm -hmm. in an oval shape. You can see the mace, feel safe, you can dilate into it. What we're now gonna do is actually, we're gonna bring it behind us. Okay. And the momentum is gonna swing the opposite side of what you first think it is because mm. you're throwing it that way, but the momentum is going this way. Gotcha. So, and because you not see it, what happens a lot is people they get scared. It's like, yeah. almost with everything, once you get scared, your reaction is usually more uh, damaging yeah. than if you wouldn't be scared and you would let go. Makes sense. So that's gonna be the goal for here. First of all, I want you to pick the mace up. Okay. Same idea. And now turn it around. So bring your right hand here, thumb down. Okay. And then turn it around. Okay. And then bring your left hand down underneath. Okay. Beautiful. We're just going to work on the press. Okay. First part, why is the press so important? If you just press out like that, so you press out like this, exactly. Okay. What would happen if the weight will be here is, well, first of all, you have to aim right there. Okay. But the idea is if the weight would be here, mm -hmm. your body now has to compensate for the fact that the weight is out here. Makes sense. So then when you swing, it would compensate on the other side as well. So now your body becomes the tornado mm. instead of the eye. Okay. So what we do is we balance it out. Okay. We press towards the opposite side from where you're aiming. See that? Mm. So ideally, if the weight will be here, now the center of mass is closer to your feet, Makes to sense. the center of your feet. So that's why the press is important. You keep that about that 90 degree angle, straight wrist. Okay. Now try it on the other side. Just practicing, yeah, just above the head. And is my left elbow when I go here, is it bent or is it straight? It's bent, about bent. 90 degrees. So okay. you're making an uppercut towards the opposite gotcha. shoulder. Gotcha. So like that. Here. Yeah. Okay. Opposite side. Okay. And then. Yeah, both sides. Just practicing that okay. to about parallel to the ground, your, your upper arm. There okay. we go. So your hands go head level because what your hands are now going to do is they're going to start here at the front of the body. They're going to move up and down behind the body. Here. Exactly. So that is the range of motion where it moves towards where your arms are actually going towards. But then when you finish, they have to go back to here. So that is the pullover part. Okay. And the swing part is actually when the hands actually move around. 
Okay. So that is the gap that we're creating here, moving from side to side. Gotcha. Press again. So here. Pressing up. Good. Yeah. Okay. And then same thing on this side. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then this part. Yeah, getting comfortable with the fact that we're here without overarching the lower back. Mm -hmm. You feel a little bit of a stretch here. Yeah. And this is what the mace will do when you practice it often, yeah. is that you actually create length here. Yes. Which is something a lot of people don't have. That's very true. Right, that yeah. overreaching um, mobility here. Yeah. So pulling back, okay. good. Now, before we move towards the entire swing, okay. I just want to see what your swing is now. So turn the mace around again with the weight all the way at the end okay. and swing towards the right side. So just forward swing or behind? Okay, so it's... That's pretty good. On the opposite side. Okay, so switch hands? Sure. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, so you've done it before. Now you've seen his swing for the first time. That's beautiful. Yes. Cool. So what would you grade it as? Uh, it's... Um, Be serious. Yeah. I'd be serious, about a, a seven. Okay, I'll yeah. take a seven. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's like you, you've, yeah. you've already got the idea of the, yeah. of the flow. You're kind of letting go already. Yeah. Just a few little pointers which make yeah. easily. Hey, I'll attention. take you, a seven you, for the first time. You've got the, oh yeah. There we go. You've got the talent for it. <laughs> so the next part will be the pendulum. Okay. That we're going to work on. Just like the front pendulum, we're now going to work on Do the back, back pendulum. pendulum. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to bring the weight up again. Okay. Yeah, it's going to happen a lot. Just lay it on your shoulder. Okay. And bring it all the way down. Okay. Behind, all the way. Okay. Both hands. So getting familiar here. Okay. Now, this is going to be a difficult exercise. I feel like the reason why we've got such big glutes mm -hmm. is specifically for this reason. Okay. Because you're going to hit your glutes a lot. Okay. But it's exactly at the right spot. So oh, the maze okay. is exactly there. So it's, it's not going to hurt you at all. Okay. So you're now just going to swing from left to right. Okay. Okay. And do I get the, the hips into it like I did exactly. before? Exactly. That's the good question. I want you to have your forearms against the head. Just okay. press your forearms against the head. Exactly. Don't do too much with your hands and shoulders. Okay. And now try to bring the mace up from your hips. So instead of just pushing your hips to the side, try to push your hip forward. And then you see the momentum is going up, right? Yeah. Without using too much arms. So you want to have your arms relaxed here. I know it's going to be difficult. <laughs> this is the tough part for my upper this, body mobility. Yes, because now you see that Whew. what is required to be there. So yeah. your triceps are getting um, some yes, yeah. So work done. Yeah, the swing is so so impactful. Yeah, that part is really important and okay. getting that hip, get those hips to move with it. So you want me to get more forward hip movement yeah. as I do it? Yeah. All right. It's, it's like it's like you do an explo You you learn how to connect to the swing yes. and then you explosively pull it up. So for example, if I do it from side to side. I make sure that I've got an anchor point, right? Because if I don't have an anchor point, what happens? My shoulder gets in. Okay. So these forms are this touchiness. And I go down. And from here, I connect to the hip. Okay. And you can see that the torso is then activated as well. Yes. So you can create as much force to eventually create a full circle. Now, I would not advise to do that. <laughs> but it's just... I get the idea with it. I can make so much power from the lower body using that, yeah. connecting that to the momentum, that's the only way to go up in weight eventually. Gotcha. Because you're not swinging with your hands. A lot of people will try to use their hands to Wait. do it. Yeah. Now we come to the pull. We press up like that, side mm -hmm. to side, which means the hands basically move into a figure eight pattern. Now the difficult okay. part about this is that the hands, they move up and down, but they also move in a figure eight, like a ribbon. So they move from this shoulder down to this shoulder, down to that hip. So your hands, they start there, they move over, come back over to that side. Pressing Aiming up to this way, side, yep. Down, down, all the way, and over that side you come back. So I'm going here, mm -hmm. pulling down to the right yep. hip. And why would you have to pull down towards the opposite side? Because the weight's swinging out here. Exactly, so, so get your hands, Okay. hands down. So I'm just okay. gonna guide it. So we would go here, Yes. It goes around, down. And then you pull have to pull it here. towards that side ah. until you come back to the center. Because gotcha. once you pull it back, it's going to be way over if there. You, if you now try to pull it back with your wrist, yeah. Oh, like you have that. to do everything with your wrist. Gotcha. But if I pull but this way, but if you way, pull, then and then you move underneath it. Yeah. Then you basically eliminated Use that the leverage. It's not yeah. just wrist. Yeah. So it's a lever okay. game. Okay. All right. 
Keep it closer, keep that, yes. Keep the 90 degree angle in your arms. Good, and now aim towards me. Aim a little bit backwards, yeah. Exactly, good. You wanna have that mace move in line with your feet. Okay. Because if it doesn't, then you're compensating somewhere. Good. There's different exercises. There's the, traditionally, they do the 300. Okay. So, and it's not a move that they would call a 300, but the idea is that you have the pendulum the same, but you actually end up at the shoulder. And the reason why they do this okay. is because they go up in so much weight that they have to... Folding it out in front would be... But also be able to slip. Ah. So the moment you have a bamboo handle on a stone and it's 50 kilos and you cannot lift it up, what they do is then that pull in over the shoulder. Like, ah. And that's not what you can do with a steel one like that. Let's try it again with a little bit heavier weight. Okay. Ooh, yeah, some movement in the mace. Good. And the other side. Okay. How's the heavier weight feeling? Feels good. Feels okay. Is it a big difference? Uh, it's a little bit of a difference, but I feel like if you get the motion down right, it almost flows yeah. a little bit easier. Still. Yeah. So this is 15 pounds. Okay. Basically five pounds more. For people that have never swung before, this is a giant step because it's only, the extra five pounds is only at the end. Yeah. How's that? It's great. Yeah? It's good. I think you've um, you basically learned how to swing and connect better with the body. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm sensing. Yeah. And that is really important. I want you to try this one too. I wouldn't suggest to do this as a beginner because you, but you have done the shoulder rug before. Yes. And this is definitely heavier. If you're ready. Let's try it. Yeah. <laughs> well, there we go. So we'll start it up. here, across. across, pull that way. You feel the weight? Yes. So you have to put it there to pull it back. If you're ready for a full All swing? All right, yep, I'll do a full one. All right, okay. here we go. Boom. <laughs> okay. Back close to the body, close to the body. Ground, ground. Yes. So this is, if somebody has never swung before, this is the load they're going to feel with the 10 to 15 pounds. Yeah. Good. Try the other side. This is a beast. There we go. Beautiful. Whew. Exactly. That was tough. I want you to try it all the way at the end now. Okay. Because this yeah. was halfway. Yes. And now I want you to try it all the way at the end. And now I want you to feel that pendulum. Because it's a large pendulum. Yeah. Like I had a friend, uh, Eric Doyle, said that this is like a Cadillac. Okay. Yeah. Right? So you got to make sure that you can actually feel that entire swing. That's the beauty of this tool. Yeah. Once you start to connect to the circle, the everlasting circle, then you can, get, can get, actually get into a zone. Yeah. Right? Because you can whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. And then you can just keep on going. Yeah. All right, let's try. Let's try it, Aaron. You got this. Am I good with the handle? Yeah, you're good. Whoa. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I good catch. I good it. catch. Good catch. Try it again. You got this. Yeah, bring it back to the center. So whenever the oh, weight. Oh, yeah, pull it back down. Yes, whenever the weight is coming forward, yes. just make sure you push your hands underneath so it pulls ah. back to you. This is okay. a way to balance the maze, yeah. Instead of trying to do it with your forearms. Aim it a little bit more back. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Good job, good job. Good job. There That's we go. Good. Yes, Aaron. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, good job. Good there job. we go. It was definitely uh, a test that I gave you there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But eventually, when you when you get into it, then you're able to do it one-handed. You're able to move around it. You're able to do like a lot of cool things and manipulate that weight, and at the same time, get a fun workout. Yeah. I love it. One day I'll be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, we'll have some fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, you you've got you've got you've got the first steps done and. It has to bound in our repetition. Well, hey, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day, coming to St. Louis and teaching yeah. us because it's it's amazing. And you know, we're here to to share 
our joy of strength training, joy of exercise and teaching the world and spreading awareness of this very niche form of strength training that used to be more prevalent in certain areas of the world that now we're able to tell all over on YouTube, you know, the joys of, of training like this. So we can introduce more people to it. 